PSI, what is it on your compressor and why is it important to you or maybe not as important as you think it is? Welcome to Tim's Two Minute Tech Tuesday, starting right now. I do feel that you can just set it and forget it. Uh, as long as you have one of these micro air control or MAC valves, they're really fantastic. You can control the amount of air pressure or airflow at the airbrush itself while you're working. So let's say you want to do something really tight detailed like an eyelash. You can really dial that down, get close and get those details. Or if you're doing a background, you can actually dial it up, get more pounds per square inch at the airbrush, and then you get that wider cone. This enables you to set it and forget it at the compressor. Now at the compressor, what is my sweet spot that I feel is the best PSI to have on your compressor for a wide variety of artworks, especially if you're doing something that is uh, more detail oriented. I work in India ink. This also works for acrylics because you wanna make sure that you spray your paint or your ink where the medium has a consistency of skim milk. So you don't need a really high PSI for that. So I set my PSI at 25 PSI or pounds per square inch. What you can do is just set your MAC valve lower and I usually do so I always set it quite low so I'm probably at 15 PSI but I don't have to worry about exactly what it is. Of course this is not for your t-shirt painters who are using very thick paints to really adhere it to the fabric. This is for your detailed oriented artwork, whether you're a custom painter or doing fine artwork as myself on regular paper or canvas. In conclusion, set it and forget it. 25 PSI, make sure you have one of these MAC valves and you're good to go. You don't really have to think about it too much from there. I hope you like today's Tim's Two Minute Tech Tuesday. If you do like these Tech Tuesdays, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell icon, which you'll be notified when new videos come out. And I hope you have a great week. Until next time, take care of yourselves.